All right, hello there. Welcome back to more StarCraft. I, I realized in the last video, after doing editing, I said, <laughs> I said, welcome back to StarCraft 2. Yeah, StarCraft 2 looked like this, then, uh, oops, I can only click load. Uh, but yeah, I have a more sizable force here, and hopefully this is going to be enough to do what we need to do. So let's go straight in and bust some shit up. We'll do what we can at least, you know. Be nice if you guys could take out these overlords and shit. Burn it all down. Yeah, we're gonna burn all of this shit here. I don't want any of it standing. And, you know, I found an alternate way that you could do this. But I figured, you know, it was kind of cheaty, you know what I mean? Uh, sometimes if I'm frustrated, you know, it doesn't really bother me to do shit like that, you know, but uh, basically what you can do is build a shit ton of these transport ships, these drop ships, and just sh send, uh, get Raynor in, in at least one of them and send them all the way across here um, to the mission objective, but, you know, it's like, it's kind of bullshitty, you know what I mean? Fucking Marines really took a beating. I'm not gonna be going up there. Alright, let's get the fire bats out in front. Uh, we need to get up here. So how does one go about doing that? Okay, we have to go all the way around. Naturally. Calling online. Your forces are under attack. all you guys up there and you know I might as well start making some reinforcements of some kind where are you guys going don't go I don't want you guys going over here fucking hell these guys are really impetuous very impetuous these guys Take out these, uh, what are these called? I can't remember what they're fucking called. Sunken Colony. Alright, let's save the game here just in case. Alright. Take out all this anti-aircraft bullshit up here. 
so my transport units can get gross. Yeah, we lost a good chunk of our forces there, man. Oh, great. What are you doing? It looked like he wasn't attacking. Whatever, fuck him. Let's get, uh... Let's get our transport. Transport's ready. I think we can get across there. Uh, no, let's take out that one right there. Take out this. Might as well take out these. Now, oh, fuck it. I think that'll be fine. We'll, uh... Save the game. In case some Zerg decide to, uh... Decided to fuck us up on the way. I don't think we're gonna be needing to build anything else. Will you unload? Or did you unload? Okay. Like I trust him either. Don't know what Mengsk is thinking. Mm. The trump card. Commander, our position has been discovered. As of two hours ago, a large Confederate strike force arrived on Antigua Prime and established a base camp within our defensive perimeter. Arcturus Manx is calling a meeting. Greetings. I know you're all concerned about the Confederate strike force. But first, we have a grave matter to discuss. It seems our data disks didn't hold weapon designs after all. Lieutenant Kerrigan will explain. You all know that the Confederates run a program for psychically gifted humans, training them to be ghosts. Those running the program found that the Zerg are attuned to the psychic emanations of ghosts. So the Zerg are here for you, Darla? <laughs> this keeps getting better and better. Shut up. There's been a lot of secret Confederate research surrounding ghosts and the Zerg. What we stole was a small but critical piece of the puzzle. Designs for a transplanar psionic waveform emitter. The emitters broadcast the neural imprint of a ghost, but at a much greater magnitude. These things reach across worlds. The Confederacy used these Psi emitters to lure the Zerg into isolated containment areas. Your colony, Mars Sarah Commander, was one such location. What are you saying? 
I'm saying the Zerg are a secret weapon developed by the Confederacy. I'm saying we're all subjects of a Confederate weapons test. Just as they destroyed Korhal with nuclear weapons to establish dominance a generation ago, they would use the Zerg to put an end to their other rivals. Only this time there'd be no outrage. Who could suspect the aliens were their creation? No, they'd be lauded as heroes for coming in and destroying the Zerg. It's time the Confederacy paid for its crimes. And I know just the way. Lieutenant Kerrigan is going to plant an emitter at the Confederate base camp. Commander, you will provide her with an escort. When the Zerg arrive, they'll break the blockade for us and we'll make our escape. Now, get moving. Hmm, huh. that's interesting. I'm having doubts about this, Arcturus. I just don't think anyone deserves to have the Zerg unleashed on them. I know you have personal feelings about this, but you can't let your past cloud your judgment. Carry out your orders, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Alright, I'm gonna end the video here. And next time we're going to plant this emitter at the Confederate Strike Force base. So I'll be seeing you guys next time.